Aeronautica is originally based on an old Roblox flight simulator called Wings World. WP is a holdover from this original game and stands for Wings Points, the original currency of Wings World. The total cost of every aircraft added up comes to well over 7.5 million WP at base cost. Although the game is primarily based on Wings World, the game was first created based on scripts from Neo Warfare X, although at this point there is little to none of Neo's original code left. Clarence Airport is currently the only public location to sell every type of aircraft. The highest altitude ever reached in a recorded attempt was by Orange Time Express and reached 19,897,516 metres in altitude. The fastest publicly available plane in Aeronautica is the North American X-15 with a top speed of 3,930 knots. The hot air balloon is the only publicly available aircraft that won't blow up even if it reaches zero health. Aircraft's air brakes are slightly less effective whilst flying in the rain. For a regular sized Roblox avatar, it would take about one and a half hours to cross the entirety of the Aeronautica map. If the player model was shrunk down to Aeronautica's miniature size, this would balloon to a whopping 12 hours to cross the map on foot. The original Wings World model for Tom's gambling establishment can be found crashed below its replacement. Its design is thought to be reminiscent of the Mile High Club from Just Cause 2. Camp Cygnus on Anoxon Island is named after the developer Demon Dash's developer aircraft, the Guardian Cygnus. Due to the April Fools update on April 1st, 2022, the Wright Flyer was briefly the fastest aircraft in the game with a maximum speed of 10,000 knots. The aircraft carrier, docked near Leovetsk, is named the Admiral Vyag. The carrier was added in the Wings of the Red Star update and is based on the real life Russian carrier, the Admiral Kuznetsov. Tom's totally legitimate gambling establishment was also first added in Wings World, and now none of Aeronautica's developers actually know who Tom is. Despite this, there is, like so many other things in the game's universe, lots of weird and wonderful lore surrounding him, including the fact that he's wanted for illegal arms dealing, as well as possibly having ties to the fall of Aether. The island of Aether was a futuristic city that used to sit on an unmarked island out in the middle of the ocean. The island was unfortunately destroyed when one of their own futuristic aircraft was hijacked and crashed into the city, detonating with the force of a nuclear blast. A lot of Aeronautica's lore is just as equally in-depth and features cults, corrupt government officials and even mythical gods, all at work within the game's universe. Underneath Milshow Estate, there is a huge underground base featuring Frankenstein-like aircraft creations, a runway and even a giant ceiling-mounted cannon. One of the aircraft found here is the Lapcat A2. Allegedly, there is a flight-worthy model of this aircraft, however, it is said to only be owned by the game's creator Hyperunt, making it one of, if not the, rarest vehicle in the game. The largest vehicle ever added to the game was the Death Star, being about 120 kilometers in diameter. Norman currently has the longest runway at a length of 4,780 meters, or 15,680 feet. Ness Aerodrome officially has the shortest runway at just 323 meters. However, the length of the runway on Tom's airship has never been officially measured. The longest commercial route in the game is currently Valios to Northiachev. The route is 284 miles long and takes roughly 33 minutes to fly with a commercial jetliner. The shortest route is East Cove to Ness Aerodrome at just one and a half miles. The continent Kayuku currently has no findable crates, with the reason for this simply being because the developers forgot to add them before release. The Air Force Proud Balloon is a reference to a running gag of the channel of the popular aviation YouTuber Air Force Proud 95. This balloon used to have a capacity of 4, which when combined with its speed made it more efficient at making money than the Hindenburg. If you're able to somehow get 120,000 meters up above Clarence, you'd be able to find the secret airport where aircraft and ships are viewed in the menus. However, due to the way it's been coded, it's only visible when you press tab and hold open the menu. Somewhere in Linwood, there is a recreation of Grove Street from Los Santos in the GTA series. According to Northern, despite popular belief, red rarity aircraft can actually spawn, but the chances of them doing so are so astronomically small. According to Northern, this tiny chance is approximately 0.0001% at any given job cycle, and only at specific airports. Despite this, however, there is still one recorded case of someone finding and being able to purchase the secret Cowcube aircraft, famously stunning the development team. According to the official Aeronautica wiki, the Clarence Sports Stadium is operated by the Clarence Cowkickers League. 
One of the hidden developer-only aircraft is a barely visible supersonic cone, simply known as the Free Cam. It's in the game purely for the purpose of zooming around and taking screenshots. There are at least four Among Us Easter eggs present in the game, being an Among Us temple, characters on the beaches of Milshaw Estate, a secret scaled aircraft, and another character on the top of a water tower at Augustus. It's rumoured that the shape of Clarent Island might also be a reference to Among Us, but this isn't confirmed and, in my opinion, isn't very likely. The Dornier Sea Star is, at the moment, the only event aircraft that doesn't have the red rarity. If you take an airship, nudge yourself in between two buildings and wiggle yourself around, there's a chance you can clip slightly into one of them and be launched kilometres up into the sky. Whilst theoretically all senior staff have the ability to do so, spawning in with their own regular avatars as huge giants looming over the map has currently only ever happened on three recorded occasions. Before September of 2021, developers had access to huge oversized spacecraft, such as Star Destroyers and the Battlestar Galactica, before they were removed for disrupting gameplay. There is a memorial to the destroyed Antonov 225 Maria on Fiskar Mountain. Builder Brothers Pizza, the franchise from the Roblox game Worker Pizza Place, makes several appearances in Aeronautica's map, having multiple franchises hidden in different locations. Aeronautica's full soundtrack consists of a total of 16 songs and is uploaded in full on the official Aeronautica YouTube channel. One of the first missions that players have access to is a lemon drop mission at Ocon. This was first added due to Nar, the original developer of Wings World, having a self-described obsession with lemons. And that concludes my 50 Aeronautica facts. Thank you to everyone listed here for helping out with footage research and for giving me all of these amazing facts. Thank you for watching, and if you have any other good facts, please be sure to tell me in the comments below. Like, subscribe, or don't do any of those things. I'm done here. Patron, out.